Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Report. Melania Trump plans to increase public appearances, play a key role in 2024 campaign. Yeah, this is from TrendingPoliticsNews.com. Good for her. Good for her. I've always been a big fan of Melania Trump. I'm old enough to remember Jackie Kennedy because I'm old. I actually met her once when I was on vacation. I think it was either in Nantucket Island or Martha's Vineyard. I forget which one. Sat an outside restaurant by myself and her and I talked for about a half an hour, Jackie Kennedy and I. And I never knew who it was until after she left. She had like it was one of those Gilligan hats on and what a nice lady. Talk like a whisper, little tiny little thing, just class. Milani reminds me of her a little bit as far as class goes. They look so much differently physically. But Milani is, I should say Mrs. Trump to be uh, respectful, is a, a hell of a person. I mean, she's got a hell of a background. Uh, did really well for herself long before she met Donald Trump. And I think she's just a class act in general. She got a really, really bad rap the first term of Donald Trump. And I say first because there will be a second one, hopefully. And good for her that she's stepping up. She got so much crap. I can understand why she's a little gun shy. Let's read on. She's reportedly preparing to significantly increase her public appearances in the lead up to the 2024 presidential campaign, actively supporting her husband, Donald Trump. The move would represent a notable shift in her approach since leaving the White House, signaling a new decision to engage more actively in the political arena. Good for her. During their time in the White House, Melania played a somewhat reserved role, often staying out of the limelight compared to her predecessors in the role of First Lady. Yeah, because she got so much shit for it. Uh, what was that jacket she wore going to uh, Air Force Run? One that says, I simply don't care or I don't care or something. I thought to myself, good for her. That's her way of giving the middle finger at the media. This is the, These are the same progressive Democrats in the media, mind you, that talk about immigration and how wonderful it is, legal or illegal, when she went through the process. It's just incredible. The kind of immigrants we really want that contribute to society, that just... It's just great people, intelligent, articulate. Oh, let's move on. She pulled a somewhat reserved role staying out of the limelight. However, a recent report from Page Six suggests she is ready to leave her mark on history by taking a more visible and influential role in the upcoming presidential campaign. Since former President Trump's departure from Washington, Melania has maintained a low public profile. In stark contrast to her husband's Consistent presence on media and public discussions. This led to the speculation about her future role and involvement in politics. Following a small farewell event in January 2020 as they left Washington, D.C., Melania has since largely stayed out of the public eye. And it shows you there, there's the service for former First Lady Rosalind Carter. And it shows them coming in. Melania represented... Uh, her husband. And I always thought, the, you know, I'll be honest with you, I didn't agree with the vast majority of what President Carter did. But I have to say, though, honestly, I think as a man, he was probably the best man in my lifetime that was president. He was a lousy president. Being a good guy and a good man doesn't make you a good president. The turning board for Melania's increased public engagement appears to have been a participation in Rosalind Carter's funeral. Like I said, alongside other former first ladies, her decision to attend a funeral alone while her husband was absent drew attention. At the gathering, Melania chose a gray tweed overcoat. Now, I have to say, in all fairness, I think that was a decision on President Trump's part because the spotlight would have been on him. The media would have been all over him. And it was Rosalind Carter's funeral. I mean, let's tell the truth here. And the last thing you want to do when you attend somebody's funeral is to be the center of attention away from the individual that passed. 
Standing out from the black outfits worn by other distinguished female attendees and first ladies. Her coat also displayed her legs and black heels. Well, what is this? 1910? You can't show an ankle? People suck. The event is said to have boosted her confidence and readiness to step back into the public sphere. And it shows a picture now. I love this picture, and I'll tell you why. I mean, she's, she's a gorgeous woman, classy. She used to be a model. She knows how to carry herself physically, mentally, verbally. Look at the scowl that Michelle Obama has for her on her face. That alone would make me a fan of Melania. Let's move on. Melania realizes it's her time to join the ranks of historic first ladies and leave her mark on history. I don't blame her. She feels better prepared for a potential role the second time around, a source told page six. It's also mentioned that Melania believes she can now allocate more time to her responsibilities as her son Baron is now older at 17 years old. Guys, like, Baron's like six, seven or something like that. Holy crow. Another story shared the immediate family, including Melania, is sadly behind the former president. And that's important. It's important to have your spouse and your children and your immediate family behind you. I can't even tell you now, President Trump has a lot of confidence. He's not lacking in that. But I'll tell you, psychologically, it makes a huge deal if your wife and your immediate family is all for what you're undertaking. That's difficult. Following her uncommon presence at Carter's funeral, Melania, 53, I know women that are 33 and 23 that don't look that good, has also seen that subsequent event alongside Trump. Reports confirmed her presence at a Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach during a Patriot Awards ceremony. They were both in great moods as their non-looker, knowing her, their demeanor. Melania was going and greeting everyone. Yeah, she's a friendly person, and people actually like her in person. And the, and the press and the beating she got was so ridiculous. Uh, she wore that jacket, I think, she said, I don't care on the back or whatever it said. I remember when I saw that, I went, good for her. That's her way of flipping the middle finger at these morons. Further fueling the shift is the recent Supreme Court victory for Donald Trump in his federal election case, which has bolstered the confidence within the Trump family and their close associates. Yeah, we'll give him a shot. But I don't think that was the turning point. I think she was leaning that way anyway. Reports indicate there was a belief among Trump's inner circle at Mar-a-Lago that his return to the presidency in 2024 is highly probable. I'm just guessing now we have, what, 10 months and change to go, 10 and a half months till Election Day. I put President Trump's chances of being reelected, I would put it at about 65%. Because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what the Democrats are going to pull. Remember, I can't go into details, of course. Remember, it's not who votes, it's who counts the votes, and I'll leave it at that. A lot of things can happen both legally and non-legally. The press is going to have a connection fit. So we're going to have to see. But I put his chances at about 65%, which is pretty high. This belief has probably led to an agreement between Donald and Melania for her to assume a more important role, especially in top-tier diplomatic appearances in 2024. Oh, she'd be great for that. Uh, High-end elected officials even heads of state, even though she's not the first lady anymore. I want you to think about for a minute, go back if those of you who haven't seen it, and see the Christmas display this year at, in the White House that supposedly Dr. Jill Biden, I don't know she's Dr. of, but Dr. Jill Biden and her staff put together, along with that weird dance routine, that people called, it looked like the Hunger Games, the Capitol and the Hunger Games, and actually it did. And then go back and look at some of the Christmas decorations that Melania was in charge of picking and displaying. And you can tell, what a class act. Just a class act. Her decision to wrap up her public appearances and play a key role in the 2024 campaign should be seen as a strategic move. Her increased visibility could bring a new dynamic to the campaign, potentially attracting attention and support. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good for her. Good for her. 
And there she is there at the funeral of Rosalind Carter. But I got to tell you, honestly, good for her. I, I keep saying that, but it's, uh, I think this is her, her way of trying to not get back at the media for how she was treated, how badly. But a lot of the things she wanted to do and say, she probably didn't because of the criticism she got for anything. Even something incredibly positive, like the Be Best initiative she had, all she got was crap. And I think a lot of the things she wanted to say and do, she held back because of the fact that she just didn't want to hear the BS anymore. So good for her. I hope she does. She'll be definitely a huge draw on the campaign trail. Huge draw on the campaign trail. Either they campaign together or separately just to cover more ground. I think she's going to play a key role. And I think, honestly, everybody gives Donald Trump a lot of crap for, you know, how he treats women. I think he values her opinion very, very highly. It's any decent husband or any decent businessman will take opinions and criticisms from outside. The smart ones do, and he's no dummy when it comes to business. He'll take her advice, and I'm glad she's there to, you know, walk him through it. Because nobody wants to do this alone. This campaigning by herself has to be brutal. So good for her. I'm glad she decided to jump in. And we'll see what kind of a role she plays and how big a one. But I think as time goes on, the press will be less after her because of the maliciousness they gave to her before. And I think that will give her a little bit a little bit of a, of a push to appear more in public. Anyway, I'm glad to hear it. She's a class act, and she deserves to be heard. Anyway, folks, what do you think? Until the next time, goodbye, God bless, and good luck. Mm-hmm.